so you know what that means. We've got to have a little drinky drink. We're here with Maria Schaff, the bar manager of Judy's Lounge in Niagara Falls. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. Welcome. Now, something really special about your business is that you're rooted in family, right? Yes. Tell us about that. So my mom opened Judy's Lounge um, in 1980. So um, she started it by herself and uh, grew it ever since. Now tell me what you're going to be making for us right now. So this I thought would be good for Easter time. This is um, a strawberry mango sangria. <gasps> oh gosh, so, I was supposed to give up drinking, but you're gonna make it difficult oh, today. You're gonna gosh. have to try this one, it's delicious. So normally you have like fresh fruit going in there. Okay. And um, we're gonna start with some strawberry vodka to give it a little kick. Yummy, yummy. And I did about a cup of this just to give it good flavor. And then some sweet wine and some mango flavoring. Now, what are other of your best sellers on the menu, would you say? So we're known for our wings, which is like the most popular and they're delicious. Oh, wow. And our take on the beef on wick. So we do the beef on wick um, in our house made gravy rather than with au jus, um, which gives a little twist, but it's tender and delicious. Nice. Uh, and so, okay, so we've got a whole bottle. Yeah, the whole bottle. She's pouring. Okay. Yeah. That's a heavy pour. And now, this is just, this is perfect. So you can serve it at Easter and yeah. stuff like this. We serve these at Judy's all the time. Um, we have different flavors all the time. These are one of our most popular featured cocktails. So, oh. and, but I made it today because I thought it'd be good for viewers if they wanted to make something for Easter. Nice. And try it out with their family. And I love this because this looks like it's going to be really sweet. Yeah. And it's pink, so I love it. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> and so that was the vodka, a little bit bit of mango flavor. Oh my goodness, look at that color. Yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. You just add any fruit, strawberries, fresh mangoes. That's good. Okay. Now, Judy's Lunch has like a very long history, right? Yes, very because long, 43 years. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. So especially you said your mom started it, right? Yeah, yeah, I've been working there for 17 years. Your whole life, pretty yep, much. Pretty much. <laughs> and so what's next? What's in the future for you guys? So we are hoping to, you know, keep the cozy atmosphere, um, keep it a local hangout, and then um, we're hoping to, um, we've been Oh, those are those wings you were talking oh, about. Oh yeah, and, and they are a fan favorite. So, um, and we're hoping to be able to deliver someday soon, because we don't do that right now, which is a lot of our guests say we should. Yeah, um, so they're like, we want you at yes, home. Yes, at home, <laughs> you know, with kids and stuff, they can't get a ride out to pick up, and it would be nice to have. What do you think makes Judy stand out as such a nice place to be? Um, we are we are very family, local. When you come to Judy's, you just feel like you're cozy. Home. Yeah, like your home. Um, our staff is so great and very um, easy to talk to and friendly and food is great. Cocktails are always changing, beer, just a little bit of everything. Now for if for me, for example, someone's first time going there, what would you recommend them to order? Oh, definitely our two best, which is called the Best of Buffalo. Um, so you get a beef on wick and 10 wings. Okay. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of both. And what cocktail would you suggest? Um, oh, wow. Um, our, any of our sangrias, like this is gonna be on in April. This is a delicious one. Um, and then we also have some other holiday ones. Um, this uh, a fluffy bunny, a jelly bean shot, stuff like that. Okay, I just wanna say that you didn't even put fruit in, but it smells it so is sweet very and delicious. Good, so you have to I try can't it. wait for the pour. So this you start with, um, you fill almost all the way up, and then you top it with a little bit of ginger ale for a little bit of fizz. Oh, I love that. Put it's like a little of, spritz. Yeah, it is a little bit of spritz. Nice. So. Is this one of your favorites? This is, this is perfect for this time of year. If the weather would just clear up and. Uh, We're just all waiting for yeah. the weather to do a little yeah. bit better, but this is gonna definitely be the spring and summertime drink, definitely. I can tell. Yes. Well, oh, thank you so much for thank coming in. Thank you so in. much for having How us. can people find out more information about you? Oh, visit us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, and you can find us, Google us, Judy's with an I, um, Niagara Falls, and Yes. Everywhere you can go on social media, you can find yeah, them. Can Judy's find, with yeah. an, that's with an eye. You yeah, see Judy's the pretty, the yeah. pretty uh, cocktail, the martini glass. Yeah. Like she said, you can and also go to their website, judysbarandgrill.com, or any of their uh, social medias are at Judy's Bar. Thank you Thank so you much so for much, coming Jessica. in, and uh, well, all of our staff will be having yeah. some of the strawberry Cheers. sangria. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well.
time is running out to see this incredible exhibit. We're here with the artist himself, Roy Johnson. Thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you for inviting me. Well, we are right down the street from the uh, WIVB mm -hmm. studios here at Birchfield Penny. Tell me about your exhibit. Now, you've been going for a while since November, right? Well, the exhibit started November 11th, and it runs through to uh, March 26th. It's been an amazing time. Um, uh, um, actually, before even before we started with the exhibit, the, the work that I did with the, I collaborated with the students was amazing. Um, uh, the students were just uh, so creative and innovative that uh, it, it, it gave me inspiration for, and belief in our young people uh, <laughs> because uh, we have some fabulous people, who are very smart young people are going to be um, moving forward in the future. And talented. Yes, they're really talented. Now tell me about some of the pieces. I know, you know, a curator selected these, but you have been working on these some as long ago as the 70s, right, you said? Yes. Uh, uh, one, The earliest piece in this show is 1970. However, I do have pieces that are older, but the 70 piece reflects the work that I was doing in my early career, which was basically geometric work um, and then what I did I moved to more figurative and um, and then I started mixing figurative with um, geometric and, and spiritual work um, uh, and things that reference uh, things important to me in life uh, most of this show is about uh, my life the things that I paint are about the things that I've experienced in life and the things that I've internalized and, and then got out of my my internal self and and put on the canvas so uh, this show is very important to me in that respect because it shows um, how I've lived what I've done and what is important to me what inspires you where do you draw inspiration from I draw inspiration from everything and everybody <laughs> I always tell people that every individual is a piece of art everything about you is a piece of art everything around us in, from trash to jewels it's all art. It's just how you interpret it. Now, when you're painting and drawing, do you see things in your mind and then post, or, or do you start drawing first and then? Well, kind of I, see, I see something first, um, and uh, it, there are like images that continue to repeat themselves with me, and I, I get the entire image out in on um, in a sketch because to to do it on canvas. It, uh, you will lose a lot of energy, uh, but it, now because you can do it all on your phone or you know or, or on, on a pad, it's simple to capture um, and capture the idea. I, what I'm trying to do is capture the essence of the idea, and then the memory kicks in as to the details of it, and then your experience goes on top of that in terms of um, uh, technique and um, uh, direction comes in so really the sketch is the key but the, before the sketch is the internalized thought that that, that comes out because you see everything in your mind even the colors I right? see the colors everything and I just try to replicate that energy um, and I have a philosophy that if I can do 60% great if I do more <laughs> uh, you know it's really great <laughs> Now when people come into Birchfield Penny and see your exhibit, it, it starts right at the hallway and goes all the way back. What is the experience like? What was the thought into each room as they enter? Well, I, I believe um, you know, Tiffany Gaines, who was the curator, she, you know, she uh, decided to, to have these series or these rooms based on a theme, okay. and that's good. And she was able to pick out the, um, the various paintings that represented a particular theme, such as the, uh, the Brazil period, which was a real period, uh, the geometric period, the, um, uh, uh, the figurative or Black Lives Matter period. And um, she separated them out based on those types of themes. So, I mean, I have so many paintings to pick from that it's very easy to to make a, uh, a series. But the question is, which ones represent those periods? And that, that's where Tiffany did the great job of picking those that represented the, uh, the different periods that we decided to have in the show. As an artist, when people view your work, what is something that you're hoping they feel or take from it? Well, I'm just hoping that uh, they can interpret the work the way they interpret it. 
uh, because uh, I have a different or maybe similar interpretation, but I want them to feel the work, to interpret the work, and, um, and, and then tell me what they think. You know, I, I'd love to hear what people think as opposed to what I think, because right. a, a lot of people have told me things that really have, have um, really, really deep thoughts Mm -hmm. that um, that may have been internalized with me, but um, it, I wasn't thinking about that. You didn't even realize. I didn't realize. The yeah, they, they that were, were deep. They were deep down, too deep. Mm -hmm. But other people can see it. Yeah. And apparently, they they meant something to me because they came out on canvas. Absolutely. Isn't that incredible when people get to see you through your work, or a glimpse of you? I, oh yeah. It's it's um, it's great to see people's reaction because I don't think any artist knows what how people are going to react to their work, um, positive or negative, uh, uh, you know, I mean, you have to accept both of them. Nice. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to come in here and see your space. If you would like to go to the show, it's running through the Sunday, your last chance yeah. to check it out. So thank you for having us. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> Still to come, we get a live performance from Lockport-based band Handsome Jack to rock us into the weekend. You don't want to miss it.